It's 2023 and we're back in Zadar. There's a new cruise terminal and the bus now stops in a different place. It stops here, right next to the sea organ. world's first sea organ set in these stone steps. 35 pipes are set in the steps and the sea forces the air through them and makes these ever-changing chords. Right next to the pipes is the monument to the sun. It's a large disk of solar-powered cells that collects energy during the day and stores it. Sadar is preparing itself to become a major home port for cruise ships. So soon, you could be flying into Sadar and then walking down this gorgeous seafront before seeing the old town and starting your cruise. If you walk all the way along the promenade, you'll see the Venetian lion again. This walk brings you all the way around to the main gate. We're going into the city. Landward Gate is at the entrance to the old walled city. The lion, it's a mark that you see above me, was a symbol of the Republic of Venice and is now the symbol of the Venice Film Festival. Here's a good tip for Zadar. If all the cafes and restaurants are full up, what you can do is wander over the bridge, buy a roll at the little kiosk over there, come and sit on one of these benches and you've got a lunch with a spectacular view at a very, very cheap price. ways to cross the river. The Church of St. Simeon dates from the late 12th century. In a casket on the altar are the remains of St. Simeon, who was the protector of the city. You can easily spend hours just walking around the alleyways of the old town and then you come out to this beautiful market. The detached bell tower has panoramic 360 views from the top. Anastasia's Cathedral is the largest in Dalmatia. It was rebuilt after the Second World War and there is a sarcophagus in there containing the remains of St. Anastasia. Just down from the bell tower is a 
fabulous ice cream shop. Come and have a look. That's the way to display ice cream. The Church of St Donatus from the 9th century is the oldest church in Zadar. It's a circular building and it's now used only for concerts. The forum in the centre of the city was the centre of social life here. Unfortunately, it was destroyed in the Second World War and now it's presenting a sort of urban archaeological park and there's the archaeological museum behind it. of museums. There's a glass museum, an illusion museum and some wonderful model boat makers. You won't get bored here. As there's a fairly long queue for the shuttle bus, we've decided to have another cheeky glass of wine in the sun. Why not? Sadar has been a fantastic mix of history, architecture, beauty and culture. There's two ships in split today, the MSC Symphonia and the PNO Azura. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Guess where we are? We're in split. And if you want to pick up the free walking tour, it's up here. So we found the free spirit walking tour. Free. You just give a tip at the end. So this massive statue behind me is Gregory of Nene and you're supposed to rub his toe for luck. The special thing about this palace is that people actually live here and have been for about 1500 years. This area is the killing zone. We saw it in Troy. These substructures or basements were where they filmed the places where the dragons were kept in Game of Thrones. <laughs>